Good morning, viewers, and welcome back to my channel, Nick Master Valley. Here we are in the garden today, early in the morning. It's about uh, 7 o'clock. And I did say I'd show you my uh, no log uh, raised pond. So let's go and have a look. This is uh, my decking area. This is where I go when things get a bit warm in the greenhouse. I come and sit up here. Um, mostly grasses, a few different uh, bamboos, uh, a nice big gunnera down there coming on. A few taro plants, elephant ears, and different sorts of grasses. And here's the pond. Um, so I'll set up and have a little look at it. Got a nice um, ornamental banana plant over there, which um, I've had now for about a year, but it's coming on this season. So let's have a look what I've got in this pond if I can keep the light off it. Well, I'll tell you a little bit about it first. It's uh, 50 gallon, so it's not a lot of water, but it's just a water feature. Um, I've got a few fish in it. Um, they're called uh, Canary Comet. Some people call them um, Lemon Comets, but they're originally all, all Canary Comets. I'll turn this um, water inlet back off and let's have a look see if we can see any of them. I think the sun's a bit too bright really to get a good view of some of these comets but the thing I like about uh, Canary Comet or any comet is the magnificent tail that the comet goldfish have um, you're not going to clearly see that I need one of them underwater cameras to make it look better but um, yeah I like to sit up here when I finish in the greenhouse on a nice day, I just like looking at fish. It's something different to do. I've got um, a slipway, which is like um, a small mini filter. Inside that, I've got a couple of bags of log for rock and um, a small bag of carbonated charcoal. And I clean that out probably every two months. I just clean that out and it returns the water. Gives me good um, oxygenator for the water. Probably not going to see the water bounce back in. I've also got um, a filter down here. This, if you can just see it, is an all-in-one pond filter that um, I clean out again probably every second month or when it needs cleaning. I'll show you what I've got in that. Um, they, they are the ideal filter for something like this. Um, 50 gallon shouldn't take a lot. As you can see the water is pretty clear and I also grow a lot of plants in, in um, and that's going to pick a lot of uh, sun up, I believe. But yeah, I've got a lot of plants growing in my pond. And that's the umbrella plants um, down here. I've got quite a bit of um, watercress growing in. You can see I've got some nice lilies in the centre. I've got some water iris, some mare's tail. On, um, horse's tail which goes right up going out of the water it's um, ideal um, down there we've got a little bit of um, hornwort which has the little white flowers on but yeah they are I think every garden should have a little ornamental pond but yeah I can sit here for hours sometimes just looking and watching these fish. I think there's only about um, 
eight in here at the moment, so not a lot. And the way they're chasing around at the moment, I would say that um, we're probably uh, having a, a bit of a mating season. Yeah, I thought I'd share that with you today. People did ask me if I'd do all the videos and show them what I've got. And it's one of the ways that I relax is just sitting up here watching these fish with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. I can sit up here and quite happy, quite happy. As I say, yeah, a lot of the decking is um, different reeds and different grasses that um, I grow up here. I mean, you couldn't really get anything flowering. I've got a couple of uh, dahlias. I'm not doing great at the moment, the dahlias aren't at the back. But yeah, you can see I've got quite a few plants on this decking area. I'm trying to make it subtropical really, then it don't take a great deal of looking after. But um, the main issue is this fish pond. I'll show you what I've got inside the um, filter in a minute. Yeah, somewhere to relax. To oxygenate the air pond, I've got like um, a solar powered air pump. I don't know if you're going to see down there. And I've got some Elodia, which is um, an oxygenating plant inside the pond. Yeah, the air stone comes on when the sun comes out. You can see that I've got a lot of. Um, duckweed coming. That's a small leaved plant near the top of the shot at the moment. I try to take some of that out, I don't want a lot in. But um, yeah, let's see if we can get to that filter. Probably show you a little bit. That's the uh, filter system. Um, and you can see here we've got a nice wood forming on my um, lily. Yeah, I like to come out onto this decking area every morning. Just sit there, looking at a few different plants that I've got. It looks nice to me. I'm sure it'd be nice for the people. So yeah, I thought I'd do it today. It's another one out of the way, another video, something different. Not a lot happening in the greenhouse at this moment in time. And I did say to a viewer that I would share it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Right, I'm going to turn the uh, water inlet back on now. Hope you enjoyed this short video, viewers. Um, something different. Here's my mate coming to see me. Here he is. <laughs> Here he is. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, viewers. Something different. So if you've got any other videos that you want me to share with you or show you or what I've got, please let me know in the comments. Um, I always enjoy doing these videos. So yeah, let me turn the water back on. I will finish off with a couple of seconds on the pond and I'll see you all next time. Well there you have it you is my Norwood raised pond, 50 gallon raised pond. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, thanks for watching. I could sit here all day but I've got too much to do. So thanks for all you subscribers who's been subscribing to the channel and um, yeah anything you want to see let me know. So until next time, bye for now. See you on the next one. Bye.